This is your wake up call. This is your daily reminder. This is your confirmation. Turn up a little bit louder. Ooh! What's up, Kingdom family? Welcome back to the Keys to the Kingdom, where we drop all the keys to the kingdom. Dr. G is in the building. If you're new to the Royal Family, come on and join. Subscribe, okay? Because we are kings and queens actively living out our purposes, full of positive vibes, changing lives, and loving on our Lord Jesus Christ, right? Okay? hallelujah shout out to my faithful fam who are always holding it down in the comments i thank y'all and i'm so happy to be on this journey with all of you from my understanding we having some trouble we having some struggles on this fast okay some of us who are fasting this is day three day three Whew. i got some powerful news from god for you all okay i was over here tripping when he was delivering me this message okay listen but let me encourage you first just a little just a little bit okay it is okay for you to have a bad moment, but do not make it a bad day, right? So sometimes we feel like, okay, um, I, I messed this whole day up because I ate one bad meal. I'm supposed to be doing this, so I'm supposed to be doing that. So now let me just keep eating one bad meal. Or I called so-and-so and I wasn't supposed to be talking to them. And so now let me just keep talking to them. Let me just, you know, I'm just, I must be stuck, right? No, family. No, 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 no. Consider your relapses because that's what it is it's natural it's normal we all have our okay shortcomings right we fall a little bit from the glory praise god consider that as another opportunity for you to get it right every time god wakes you up in the morning every time you have air in your lungs it's like okay i got another chance to get this right i'm going to just have um a bad moment i'm not going to turn that bad moment into a bad day right and what helps us prevent from uh turning the whole day right left right we got to change our mindset. Everything is a mindset. Be confident on this journey. I know that everybody is not like super, super fast, fasting type of people. But, and I also know that we have some people who are very mature in fasting and it really doesn't matter who you are. But what you need to know is that you ha are equipped to do this. You have the ability to fast. You should be confident in your ability to fast. Don't act like you're brand new to it. Walk up in that thing and be like, okay, I'm going to conquer today. I'm going to master today. I'm going to have self control i'm going to have discipline today right empower yourself because truth be told a lot of walking with god because there's believers and there's followers i say this all the time you could believe in god but you you could have one foot in the world and one foot in with him you ain't really following what he says but if you're a follower a lot of that is about fasting a lot of that is about consecration a lot of that is about dying to yourself a lot of that is about uh, moving a lot of our sin right and so we have to be in these places of fast and sometimes it's for a short period of time sometimes it's for a longer duration and so if this is if you're new to fasting it's okay because eventually you'll get better at it you'll grow stronger in it you'll be able to go longer right and so don't beat yourself up family have a mindset of confidence going there feeling liberated like yes god it's me and you we turning up let's bless up this week okay with your cup okay with the blood bless up with the lord praise god y'all got this stay encouraged family so listen um let me let you all know what's happening right now okay just in general with the repentance and the deliverance we are on the third day of the messiah miracle fast all right seven day fast and so what god has been revealing to me is that we are all paying for our consequences right when he took us through the wilderness when when he's um guiding us to exit out of egypt it's because we all have been sinners right young grace makes all saints out of sinners that's my girl corin paul thumb but anyway um we're all sinners and all sin has a consequence to pay all sin has a consequence to pay because sin leads to death right and so because god died for our sins he's like hey i'm trying to listen you don't need to live in sin okay i'm trying to free you i'm trying to put you in the freedom land because i already died for this so let's not do it anymore right and so right now we're all paying for the sin because every sin has a consequence although we're trying to be renewed in our mind he's like listen you have to pay for your consequences so if life is a little bit rough right now if things are a little bit challenging if you feel like you've been in a period of barrenness and desolate like that's because you paying your sins right and it might not only be specifically for you but also for your ancestor sin right so the things if he's calling you to be a generational cycle breaker okay and meaning you're going to get the blessings and also your children coming out of you are going to get the blessings we have to first break the cycles of our ancestors so we got 
generations and generations of cycles to break and so that's the pressure that you're feeling that's the the pain that you're feeling most of the time okay family but you're almost through you're almost to the other side of deliverance hallelujah and so as i got to the end of hosea because that's what he, the book he had me in um for the beginning of this fast i noticed how upset god was with his people for their persistent disobedience these people were persistently being disobedient not wanting to follow god's laws his commands continuously going against against him you know and god already had it in his mind though that he was going to save them he was going to rescue them he was going to deliver them so according to hosea 14 repentance of our sin during this time is not going to be enough all right my loves so while we're on this fast repenting for your sins acknowledging what you've done that's great that's the first part right but the second part is especially if we want to really really never go back to our old ways we want to leave that behind for good god wants and he needs us to do it from a sincere heart meaning we have to have a changed behavior we have to change our behavior he wants us to have a changed mind and a changed heart towards sin in general not only our sin but other people sin you know like he does not want us to think that it's okay to dibble and dabble in it at all like sin to us it has to be black and white it can't be any gray areas it can't be anything in between okay so allow our changed behavior to be the defining factor that lets god know that we are really ready that we are really sorry that we really would like to have his forgiveness in our lives okay we would really like to be in fellowship with him so god is going to consistently pursue you it does not matter how many times you fall short on this journey remember that god is going to consistently pursue you he loves you that much all right he loves you that much and so he consistently pursues you so that you can turn away from your sin but ultimately it will be your choice family all right he wants you to know it will be your choice so say yes to the lord okay um i have to read hosea 6 this is gonna blow this blew my mind all right this is how you're gonna know if god called you on this fast if god led you on this fast if you are passing over if you're crossing over this is what he gave me as the revelation to um inform his people okay so six says the voice of the remnant remnant in the last days and i'm reading from king james version bible okay so it says come and let us return unto the lord yeah i know we living in the last days Come and let us return unto the Lord, for he hath torn and he will heal us. He hath smitten and he will bind us up. After two days, we already completed two days of the fast, he will revive us. In the third day, he will raise us up and we shall live in his sight. Today is the third day of the fast, February 3rd, 2022. Then shall we know if we follow on to know the Lord, his going forth is prepared as the morning and he shall, it is the morning time when I'm recording, okay? And he shall come on to us as the rain, as the latter and former rain onto earth. I'm in Georgia, okay? Atlanta to be exact. It is pouring. It's been pouring raining since last night, but pretty much like maybe 12, 1 a.m. It started coming hard rain, heavy rain. And so um, God was basically... I was upset that it was raining, honestly, this morning because I'm like, God, it doesn't feel good out here. But anyway, <laughs> um, he's letting us know that by the third day, just how he rose on the third day, that the rain is symbolizing our restoration onto him, that he is reviving us. His grace, it says, God is a God of great mercy and he will forgive and restore human beings to fellowship with himself. Even when they are guilty of every manner of sin against him, if they will repent, even when they have defied his grace, spurned his commandments and abused his gifts his grace reaches the heights and the depths just as christ would be raised on the third day so the image of israel's revival and restoration to live in god's presence as described so my loves if it is raining where you are if god has been showing you rain if you've seen a show that even symbolized some type of rain god wants you to know that you are in his presence he is in your presence the rain is an encounter with the lord okay it is the third day he is raining down on his children to let you know that the remnant the remnant means the leftover right the last little bit the the residual things that just need to okay the last 
there's things that need to get out of us, but then also the last um, firstborns, the last children that were left, we coming over on the other side, okay? We're coming over on the other side. You are passing over. If it is raining where you are, you are passing over. This is God's confirmation to you that he is meeting you. You are revived. You are restored to your father in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Okay, my loves, some songs I want to give y'all. Um, I'll Do It Again by Tasha Cobb. She says... I hope my video doesn't cut off. But she says, who am I that you are mindful of me? And who am I that you are thinking of me? He said, you are beautiful. My lovely creation can't take my eyes off of you. He said, it was all worth it. And yes, I will do it again. So listen to I'll Do It Again by Tasha Cobbs. She said it again. Who am I that you would kill your life for me? God, I can't understand how you think the world of me. He said, you are beautiful. My lovely creation. I can't take my eyes off of you and it was all worth it. Yes, I will do it again, okay? Listen to Wonderful Grace by Tasha Cobbs, okay? There's a part that says, Amazing Grace. Oh, amazing grace. That is God's amazing grace for our life, family. If y'all know God has amazing grace for us, type in the comments, amazing grace. Just type in the comments, amazing grace. Another song, Worth, by Anthony Brown. Okay, go listen to that. That you thought I was worth saving. He thought you were worth saving. That's why he came and changed your life. He is changing your life during this fast for good. I keep telling y'all that. Enough is another song by Corin Hawthorne. You're making me a fighter, fighter. You're taking me higher, higher giving me the strength i need to believe life is worth living because you love me and that's enough that's enough if you know you belong to god that's enough who are you allowing to define your identity is it the world or is it the things of god my loves another song you still love me by tasha Cobbs. she says i'm running back to you with my hands lifted high i'll give you my heart yeah and i'll give you my life i don't mean to be emotional but sometimes i cry yeah when i think of all the pain that i've caused you inside hey but you still love me god still love me okay my loves be blessed don't forget to be a blessing don't forget to laugh in the devil's face we are keeping the enemy beneath our feet god loves y'all type in the comments that you will endure say i will endure i will endure i will endure i will endure i have faith in y'all i have faith in y'all we can do this it is day three y'all see the rain it's actually chilling right now, but it was pouring, pouring. People who out here, y'all already know, it was pouring, okay? A lot of my clients is on this fast with me. I'm super, super grateful. Thank you all for just feeling called and led by God. And I'm so happy that we're in this together, okay? Royal family, stand up! <laughs> Keys to the kingdom, stand up! Y'all can blame my basketball team that I'm loud, I'm crazy. Y'all can blame my acting, okay? Because I used to be an actress back in my day my high school days for my dramatics okay y'all could blame them all right <laughs> i used to step too so um the loudness the cheerleading you already know anyway be blessed don't forget to be a blessing go visit me at infinitelyhealed.com for any counseling and healing services that your girl offers dr g will meet you over there like comment and subscribe if you're new to the channel let us know where you're from i will see y'all soon in the next video keep y'all head up in the game okay day three messiah miracle fast god coming through let his love rain down on you let his grace rain down on you